question of you folks. We have here what I think reasonably could be called a landslide or certainly something approaching a landslide. Where did it come from? Nobody anticipated it. No polls predicted it. No one saw it coming. How did that happen? We, we may give you that answer in just a few moments, but I am told that while we think about it, we're going to go to a commercial, so okay. we'll have the answer All for right. you. You've got a minute. Right, right after, after this. <laughs> With Litton's new auto cook microwave oven. Litton knows your recipes. Auto cook knows how to cook my favorite foods automatically. Litton knows you want to cook with ease. It asks me what food, how much, and how I like it done. Auto cook does the rest. When you buy a Litton, you're buying everything we know. Nobody knows more about microwave cooking than Litton. Now, keep your eye on the ball. That's a nice-looking watch. Look at the ball. I look at anything I want. That really is a nice-looking watch. It's a Timex Quartz. What's that mean? It means fanatic accuracy. The most precise, most accurate watch I ever owned. Never even wind it. Now, look at the ball. Uh, do they make Timex Quartz watches for women? Sure. If I learn this dumb game of yours, will you get me one? The Timex Quartz for men. And women. Public. Win the Senate. Uh, I'm thinking about David Brinkley's question. I believe I have now formed an answer. All right, let's have it. What is well, it? you'll recall that last summer that Ronald Reagan did have a very substantial lead at one point. It was post-convention euphoria for the 30%. Republicans. But that indicated at that time that a lot of people in this country were unhappy with what has happened in the last four years. Then he had his campaign gaffes. He finally got himself back on track. We always had that 35 to 40 percent of the people out there saying they were undecided, didn't know which way they wanted to go and then Ronald Reagan began to say to them I ask you this question are you happier and more secure today than you were four years ago and I believe that it is that question simplistically spread out across the country that began to work very well for him in the closing days of the campaign and then on debate night in Cleveland a week ago tonight he proved not to be an ogre or a monster or a guy eager to drop bombs across the landscape in the eyes of the public those are the perceptions well I don't want to knock the polls because I believe in them and they generally do very good work. And in fact, they were right. They've been, been um, Harris today called, uh, called uh, Reagan, but didn't call it this big. And one thing I wondered, have a lot of people, did a lot of people decide to vote for Reagan? but didn't want to say so? Well, that's always been a factor. They call that the uh, ballot box factor uh, in Ronald Reagan. Well, I don't want to confess he's an actor after all. A lot of people have made fun of him, and maybe I ought not to be publicly in favor of him. 